Hi, so I have a simple question. Would you eat lab or grown meat? I mean, most people are addicted to animal products. It's simple, we're addicted to cooked flesh. We're addicted to bodily fluids of animals. We have soy milk, almond milk, coconut milk, just like we have vegan chicken made of grains. Um, we have tempeh, we have um, seitan, um, we have veggie burgers, we have all sorts of mock meats, which are actually mostly healthier for the most part, depending on which brand. Some are grain-based, some are made of different ingredients, but usually they're healthier. Um, and some of them taste very good. Not all of them, but most of them taste very good. The vegan cheeses are getting better. Um, the vegan bacon is getting better. The vegan chicken is really good. The vegan seafood is getting better. Um, but um, most people are addicted and are resistant to change, especially older people. Um, now, vegan is going to be the future, um, whether most people like it or not. But would you consume lab-grown or grown meat, which is in development? It's actually more sanitary. Most of these animals are raised in filthy factory farms. You can look at this video. Um, they're not your family farm, um, like they, their propaganda tries to tell you. Um, they're raised on factory farms, where they live in their own excrement. They're kept in tiny cages, barely bigger than their bodies, or a file drawer for birds, especially eggs. Um, they are given growth hormones or antibiotics to prevent disease outbreaks. They are mutilated um, and manipulated in so many ways. So if you think lab meat is gross, you're eating the cooked corpses of blood, tendons, muscle, lips, butt, tissue, organs, eyelids, all thrown in processors for the most part. That is gross. But I know people are addicted to their pus-filled dairy rape milk and ice cream and stuff, even though they have nice cream alternatives and dairy alternatives, just like we have mock meats. So for the people who still are resistant to changing to vegan is the future, we're not cavemen, no need to eat or wear animal skins these days, would you give lab-grown meats at least a try? And stop paying people to terrorize animals in sick factory farms. I actually know hunters who won't buy from nasty factory farms. Because it's nasty and inhumane even. And that free range is often a myth. But with 8 billion people eating 37 land animals per year each, 35 being birds, nearly all coming from factory farms, it's impossible with 8 billion people to consume that many animal products, so consume less birds especially. But would you, since you can't kick the addiction like cigarettes, try lab meats? Leave your comments below. You know, some people are gonna say it's gross, some people are gonna say it's unnatural. Well, factory farms are unnatural. Eating cooked flesh and drinking the bodily fluids of another mammal is unnatural. Talking on my cell phone is unnatural communications. You do many unnatural things. But if you don't see a dog walking down the street when you're hungry and drool and want to rip them apart and eat them raw and wear its coat, <laughs> then you're maybe not a true carnivore or, or omnivore even. That's why we get heart disease and we have law and intestines, which rots in our colon. Gives us colon cancer. So anyways, we live longer on average. So any excuses? At the very least, stop paying hitmen to terrorize animals for you. Simply leave them alone. Try the mock meats and leave your comments on the lab-grown meat. And look up a factory farm video like meat.org or meatvideo.com, um, undercover videos of thousands of places, or dozens of places, thank you, and some of the largest suppliers. These are norms. <laughs> Horror movie.